I'm here to talk about this meme. I've been seeing this a lot. Uh, it says you grew up in the 80s, and then we've got this top part. My goodness, so 80s. Uh, we used to hang our Commodore 64s on the wall, didn't you? Uh, and then at the bottom, they're like, no, no, no. I actually grew up in the 80s. And they show this, and this also looks like the 80s, but I don't think any of us had the dragon from Adventure on Atari uh, framed on the wall. That was, that was not happening. But, uh, this bottom picture, I'm like 99.99999% sure this is a recreation, uh, behind me. Look at this. When I bought this house, this was one of the reasons I bought this. The guy before me that owned this house, uh, this was his office and he sold Amway. If you know what Amway was, uh, he sold it. I'll, I'll get, he's got some coupons here in the drawer. I'm going to get them out. I'll show them to you at the end of the video. Uh, but man, I love both aesthetics. The eighties was somewhere between the two. Uh, we had the, the bottom half, we had the top half, we had it all. Uh, and we're going to look at the fashions of the eighties. If you like nostalgia, you're in the right place. I do a video every single day at two o'clock. So make sure to come back tomorrow for a brand new one. Make sure you click the thumbs up button below. Make sure you've subscribed. Have you subscribed? I need you subscribed. This is free. I used to subscribe to the uh, Columbia music club. It cost me a penny, uh, but then it cost me a lot of money. I don't know how they did that, but this free, real, absolutely free. Subscribe below and let's go. All right, let's see, let's see what we got here. There's a lot going on today. Uh, we are looking at 80s fashion, freezy freakies. I could not talk about 80s fashion without talking about these. Uh, these were gloves that changed. Uh, uh, you know, depending on whether it was cold or not. So uh, some of these pictures, Freezy Freaky is still around. I thought in the 80s, it was like, oh my God, technology has gone into our gloves. Our gloves can change depending on whether it's warm or cold. This blew our minds. And as kids, we would get these. And what did you do with them? If you had them, if you're old like me and you were around for the 1980s, what did you do with your glove? You stuck it in the freezer. You stuck it in the freezer. I live in New Jersey. I lived in New Jersey as a kid as well. And New Jersey, we're cold. We are cold, but only for about three or four months. The rest of the time, we're not cold. So you'd get these gloves. You'd usually get them before the winter season. So you'd throw that thing in the, in the fridge, in the freezer. You'd take it out. You'd be like, oh my God, look, it changed. This was super cool. This was super, super cool. Uh, I'm glad these are still around. I love these. I might buy a new pair. I might have to do this. These are great. Uh, here's another look at one. And again, I mean, look at that. The guy appears. This could be a new glove. Like this glove may not have existed when I was a kid, but I love it. Look at that. You'd wait for that lady to appear. Look at it. She's hot too. Look at her. She's very 80s style. Just going down that mountain. I love her. I love that woman. I love that woman on that glove. Uh, I love snow. Uh, you wouldn't know it. If it's warm, you'd be like, that guy doesn't love snow. He just says he is snow, which is not, he's not snow. Snow is the guy who sung in former. That's not him. But when that heart appears, you'd be like, wow, that guy, that guy loves snow. He loves the guy who sings in former. Uh, do you guys remember that? In former. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Licky boom boom now. This was it though. This was how it worked. This is as 80s a font as there has ever existed. Uh, but the way they worked was when they got cold, things changed. And, and that red color, that seems to be the color that would appear. And you'd get that on your glove. All right. I've talked to people that have said, oh, I lived through the 80s. There was no neon. We didn't have neon. Everything's neon when people talk about the 80s. This is what I remember being neon. I remember uh, laces. I remember neon laces. I had neon laces. I remember people being like, do they glow in the dark? And we were like, well, no, they don't. And they were like, whoa, the volume on your shoes is so bright. Uh, this I very much remember. I also remember Michael Jackson. Now, I'm going to talk about dressing like Michael Jackson. I have a younger friend who is in his 20s. And we were talking about Michael Jackson recently. And he was like, did you like Michael Jackson? And I was like, I dressed like Michael Jackson. He was like, really? And I was like, we all 
we, we all kind of dress like Michael Jackson. Now, this album came out, the Thriller album. Look at this. This was, where'd he go? Here he is. This was the Thriller album. Look at him doing like a Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Uh, and this album came out and we all decided to dress like him. Now, in retrospect, why didn't we dress like this? This would have been like reasonable. We should have dressed. I, I want to dress like this today. Like, this is great. But we didn't dress like that. We instead, uh, we got ourselves one glove. I had one glove. I wish I still had it. Mine looked a lot like this. This was a replica type glove. We had a woman in our neighborhood. She was at the end of the cul-de-sac. And she had a room in her house where she put all the stuff she would make. And a lot of it was little dots she'd put on things. And the other thing she'd put was little sequins. And she'd get like a glue gun or whatever. And she'd glue those on. And I got one of these gloves. I had more than one, but they would only sell one. That was the deal. You'd get one white glove and the other glove. I don't know what they did with it, but I had a lot of white gloves. I would wear them on occasion. They'd get dirty. And then I'd be like, uh, new white glove needed. Uh, but the white glove, man, Michael Jackson made that white glove a thing. Uh, this jacket, my brother had this one. This was the, uh, was this the beat it jacket? This is the beat it jacket. I like this one. This was the cool one to me. All the zippers. We got these at Kmart. They were made out of pleather, which was a brand new thing. And the zippers went nowhere. They didn't even unzip. This stuff, I don't know what this was. As a kid, I thought it was a speaker. Like I looked at it, I was like, Michael Jackson is so cool. He's got a speaker here. And the sleeves did zip off. I remember that. You could zip them off. And then once you took them off, the odds of you getting them to zip back on, mm, very slim. Uh, but yes, we did dress like this. I feel like every kid, like there was a year where we all wanted this for Christmas. I got it, uh, which is great. A lot of kids got them, but they were very cheap knockoffs of what he had in the video. They were not leather. They were plastic. They were designed to be worn a few times. And I mean, we didn't wear them that much. It wasn't like we wore them every weekend, but... They were cool. All right, ringer t-shirts. I remember these. You got the ring around here. You got the ring here. Now, these are still around, but those were a big deal. I remember a lot of those. I remember Roddy Piper. Mm -mm -mm. I thought this guy was the coolest guy on earth. And his shirt, uh, this is a shirt that was, you would get this printed. You could get this. Anybody could go to the mall and get Roddy Piper's shirt. Uh, this was an off the uh, shelf decal. I'm going to show you what a store like this would look like. And they would have all of these decals up there and you'd pick one out. I remember I picked one out that had a Budweiser can that was crushed and a bunch of words that I couldn't read because I was a kid. I mean, like one of these is probably <laughs> that But the Roddy Piper uh, Jaguar is probably in this store. It was probably in the book. You can see they're flipping through books. And I remember there was a, a Budweiser can and some words. And I was like, Mom, I want that. And she looked at the words and she was like, no, you do not want that. And I've said to her recently, I've been like, what did that say? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, man, man if only I knew what the dirty joke was that I, I was not allowed to get as a kid. But I don't know what it was. Uh, but you would get these printed up, and that's what they look like. They were super shiny, very glittery. I love this. Behind this t-shirt is a winner, and it's a bullseye. Uh, I always think of this sketch. Do you remember this sketch with Kermit the Forg? Uh, he went to the shop. They had their... They had their stuff on display. Kermit the Frog wanted his Kermit the Frog shirt, but they had a Kermit the Forg shirt, uh, and Kermit the Forg came out. He was a character. Kermit the Forg. All right. Here's another thing we had. We had these beanie hats with the patch right on top. Uh, every kid, when I was a kid in the 80s, every kid had a hat like this, and it was never a team you had ever watched. As a kid, you'd go to... Uh, J.C. Penny, Sears, Kmart, and you'd go to the shelf and you'd pick out a hat. 
and you'd have to pick one based on the three or four teams that were left. And there would always be a team that you were like, I've never even heard of this team. I don't know what this team is. And you'd get it and you'd wear it every day. Every kid I knew when I was growing up had stuff for a team they didn't root for. This was so common. I remember we had Denver Broncos bed sheets in my house. No one in my house had ever been to Denver. No one cared about the Broncos, but we had them. Uh, it had the pom pom on the on the top, and really the only difference between like this hat and the Redskins hat was the patch. They would just change that patch out. All right, look at that. That is that is eighties. Uh, the parachute pants. Look at these. Look at those. And that is that wall, which again, I got one. That's a real one. This isn't like a fake thing behind me. It's real. Uh, but the parachute pants, man, I had these and they had zippers and you could put things in them. Unlike the Michael Jackson jacket, you could put things in there and it would get lost forever. Uh, but yeah, man, that was a thing. The tie. I remember this. I had a tie that was yellow, bright yellow, that was like this, made out of a woven cloth. And it stopped short at the bottom. Just stopped. And I thought that was cool. The other thing I thought was cool was a very skinny tie. I knew somebody that had one of these. A skinny music note tie. The thinner the tie. You wanted a tie so small for a while. We had those bolo ties. They were real big. Uh, look at that. This. So here's the thing about this. So the thought is, hey, we didn't dress like this. Uh, and then the other thought is, oh, we always dress like this. The truth is we all had these clothes, right? We had Hobie shirts that were these bright colors. We had crazy pants. We had acid wash jeans. We had skateboards, uh, but we didn't always wear it all together. So these kids, that's the day they got it. Then it kind of went into the drawer and it got mixed in with other stuff. Uh, we did have a lot of cool sneakers, a lot of sneakers that are worth a lot of money today. Adidas was big. Nike, not so big. We had a lot of Adidas. Adidas was huge. Also, Puma. We had Puma, man. Puma was, was rolling. And then the other one, Pony. I remember Pony was big. Uh, and then Nike got the Jordan thing, the Air Jordan, and then it became the big one. But that was it, man, for a while. All right, look at this. Um... Let's see what this says here. What are, what are these kids saying? What's the point of being a kid if you can't dress like one? And there's Birdie, the early bird from McDonald's and the McDonald's McKids collection. We needed that. Uh, we like your style, Pooh. We don't think your style is Pooh at all. We like it. Uh, look at the underoos. I remember underoos. I don't remember posing with my sister like this. I can tell you that didn't happen. Uh, but I do remember underoos. I don't remember the shirts. I know they existed. I never had them, but we did have underoos. I remember I had some incredible Hulk underoos. I thought they were super cool. This image to me represents my childhood. This like almost cowboy shirt that this kid has here with this like blue that he's like grabbing his belt buckle. That I remember. I remember exactly that hairstyle too. Uh, the kid next to him also and the kid next to him. All three of those, those were in the drawer. So if you remember this image, going back, here we go. If you imagine this image, and then, no, this image. That was all in our drawer. So they'd get mixed and match. You know, you'd have some of this, some of that. Little of each. Uh, here you go. You get your pajamas. I do remember getting pajamas with different characters. I, I definitely loved that. But I feel like that was the thing. You got it, you loved it, and then you moved on. Because it didn't matter. As a kid, you were like, I love these pajamas. They're my favorite. You'd get them like Christmas Eve or something. And then you'd be like, oh, what am I going to do with these pajamas? I, you know, I wore them once. Now I'm going to throw them in a drawer and I'm going to wear whatever we got. All right. Well, that's all I got time for. But I did promise you something. And so I'm going to show it to you. But right now you got to choose. Do you want to choose this box or that box? And let me show you one of these. I got a stack of these. <laughs> save a dollar on Amway because this is the same desk. This uh, this gentleman, the great man that uh, lived here before me. I don't think these are good anymore. 